What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel, John's Daily Hustle. Today we're going to go mow a property with my Xmark Radius and we're going to use a string trimmer to mow in an entire backyard. So first thing in the morning when I was loading my trailer up with all my equipment, I made the mistake of forgetting I was going to mow this property. And this property I both need the Xmark and the Toro Time Master. But when I was loading up, I forgot about the property and I didn't think I needed the Toro Time Master for the day. This property is on my route that's the farthest out and the farthest away. It's one of the routes that I will be dropping after this year. Coming back just to get this mower and then going all the way back was out of the picture. And I wasn't going to go back because this the city that it's in is actually one of my worst growing cities now. After the drought hits, it really doesn't grow that much afterwards. So it gets moved to bi-weekly for the remainder of the season. It was going to be a whole nother two weeks before I get to go back to this property and mow it so it had to be done because it, I didn't want it to get too tall. So because I didn't have the Toro Time Master we're going to use the X Mark Radius when we can. Now it does have the gated in backyard. I'm going to mow an entire backyard with just a string trimmer. So let's jump into this video and you guys can make fun of me for it. You guys might remember this property from one of my earlier videos that I have done here. This was one of the properties where it actually floods and all this grass where you see right now actually gets underwater back in like April, May when all the rain comes through. We actually get quite a good bit of water damage to the ground of this property or the yard anyways on this property. So it's not the best property. It doesn't look the greatest, but it's still, you know, it makes money. It's cutting grass and making money, so I can't complain. So the longest part of doing this property is actually mowing the backyard with the Time Master is what it usually takes. I'm usually done with the zero turn in maybe five minutes, maybe a little less than that of actual mowing with the zero turn as it's not the biggest property with you know some of these plants and garden area right here that I'm mowing around right now. If they weren't there there would be quite a good bit more mowing with the zero turn but not a whole lot plus I've got that tree right there to get around. I really I really got close to actually getting that deck stuck between that tree. I've seen it done, some guys have done it. I've never done it myself and I always wondered how they do it but they do it just like that. You get too close with the deck just like that. So here you guys can see I finally moved to the backyard and I'm just trimming. So I just went around the whole property trimming the edges and edging in the backyard with the trimmer. So now I'm going crazy just trying to pretty much mow the entire backyard with the trimmer. While I'm still close to the house I'm keeping my strokes relatively short so I don't hit anything on the house. But once as I get away from the house I really go wide with it and I do maybe six to eight feet swaths with it so it's not as bad as you would think. I really wasn't hurting as bad after doing this as you would think you would as, as you would think you would feel from mowing an entire backyard with a trimmer anyways it wasn't as bad as it looked. Also this yard isn't one of the better yards it's not the prettiest yard and the customer here isn't too picky on how it looks as long as it doesn't look terrible and it looks cut to where the city doesn't you know find him and he doesn't get in trouble from him. So I did really luck up with that and now this did remind me though this will permanently burn a scar in my memory to never forget my time after when I'm mowing this route again. So I'm going to let y'all sit back and enjoy the rest of the footage. You guys are going to see some slow motion shots coming up here real soon of me mowing the backyard and you guys can see exactly how long it took me to do this. So enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you at the end of it.
right, so there you guys see I finally did get that one done it wasn't as bad as it looked you guys might think yeah mowing the backyard with the trimmer would really suck and in my head it was gonna suck a lot worse than what it actually did it wasn't terrible however I don't want to do that again as y'all saw once as I was able to get away from the house I was really able to run with it and do really big swaths with it and kind of get it done pretty quickly not as quick as I would have gotten it done with the tour of time master However, that does sound like a good video I could possibly do. Maybe put the Time Master against trimming and doing that just to see what really is faster. Is it really any slower and how much slower? Kind of got me thinking if you can keep a steady hand with doing the trimmer like that to where it doesn't scalp the yard and you can keep it all one even level. If you got really good with that, you could probably run just the trimmer for backyards like that and not have to push mow at all as long as you can make it look good. Just an idea anyway. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And hey, while you're at it, go check out that video right there. And YouTube recommends you to check out that video right there. I think you'll really enjoy it. And like I said, if you really enjoyed this content, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And as always, guys, thank y'all for watching.